Welcome everybody to another episode of Making Magic Happen, brought to you by RW Hobbies and Games in Limboni, Michigan. I'm Zach, and today I've got something a little bit out of left field for everybody. Uh, and we're going to dive right into this, because this is, this is wild. This is something else. But before we do, I'd like to remind you guys to please like and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it if you would do that. And while you're here and while you're going down there, why don't you smash that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it if you do that as well. Now, let's get into the nonsense that we have in front of us on this screen. So, this week I went on the MM cast, uh, Masters of Modern, for those unaware of the uh, initials, I guess. Um, and was talking about... Graveyards in Modern, and I mentioned this deck because I think it's really sweet, and it kind of gave me the spark. I wanted to, I wanted to play it. I wanted to get it out there. I've been brewing this list in my head. I was like, you know, it's, it's probably not very good, but it's sweet, and I want to try it. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna give it a hundred percent here. We're gonna see if we can win some games. I don't think it's gonna be great, but it's definitely gonna be awesome. So we'll see what it can happen. Now, before we start, I need to read you. Storm Herald, because that's literally the entire purpose of the deck is to use this card. Uh, Storm Herald is a 3 mana 3 2 with haste. It says when it enters the battlefield, return any number of aura cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to creatures you control. Exile those auras at the beginning of your next end step. If those auras would leave the battlefield, exile them instead of putting them anywhere else. So, uh, it's Aura Reanimator. How are we taking advantage of this? Well, I only have four Storm Heralds, which by itself would not be good enough, but I have seven reanimation spells between Persist and Unearth. Unearth is better here than Persist because Persist makes it smaller and costs more mana. Um, but seven reanimation spells and essentially eight copies of Storm Herald between Unmarked Grave and Storm Herald itself, plus other ways to mill and get Storm Herald into the graveyard. It seems like it's going to be like not enough Storm Heralds, but I think there will be. Um... There is another effect like this in Modern. It is called Retether. I have tried a list with it. Retether was not very good. So I think I just need Storm Herald. Now, what has sparked all this? It is the card Otherworldly Gaze. Otherworldly Gaze, one mana blue instant. It says, look at the top three cards of your library. Put any number of them into your graveyard and the rest back on top of your library in any order with flashback of a colorless and a blue. So essentially, it lets you sift through the top of your library, it lets you draw the things you want to draw and get the rest into your graveyard. And that's good because you know it's in your hand. Like if I am drawing an unearth or I have an unearth in my hand, I want to put Storm Hill in the graveyard. But if I don't have an unearth in my hand, or I'm not, you know, I don't have the reanimation spell, maybe I want to draw the Storm Herald. You never want to draw the auras. You always want to get those out of your hand, so that's good. Um so otherworldly gaze is gonna let you just keep getting it out of your hands. The other thing important about it is it has flashback and we are a looting deck. We have seven looting effects between Is It Charm and Prismari Command. And those, you know, let us draw two, discard two. So it essentially makes Otherworldly Gaze usually a free discard. Um, and on top of being a free discard, it just lets you have something to do. Like you can, you know, mill an Otherworldly Gaze with another other, Otherworldly Gaze, which is good. We also have Stitcher Supplier as just straight up mill. So you just play it. It's a body. One mana, one, one. Mills three cards. Uh, when it dies, mills again. When it mills another world of gaze, you're happy. You'll take it. Um, and Stitcher Supplier is a body, which is important uh, to have extra bodies because Storm Herald brings back uh, or any number of auras, and it, they, you can attach them to any number of creatures. So if you think your opponent's holding up a removal spell, you can set it up where you have a bunch of auras in your graveyard and bring them back on a Stitcher Supplier and a Storm Herald, make them need two removal spells. Um, but... The real secret to this deck here, basically I'm trying to get Eldrazi Conscription, Prodigious Growth, uh, Battle Mastery and Spectral Ward on two of my creatures. Uh, Battle Mastery just gives my guy Double Strike. Spectral Ward gives it plus two, plus two, and protection from all colors, but doesn't remove auras, which wouldn't even matter because we're trying to put Eldrazi Conscription on it, which is colorless, and says, Enchanted Creature gives plus ten, plus ten, has Trample and Annihilator two. Uh, Annihilator 2 is not very much. It makes them sacrifice two permanents. And when you only get one attack, Annihilator 2 doesn't tend to be huge. But when you start stacking them, it gets a little out of control and can often just lead to wins. And then Prodigious Growth is plus 7, plus 7 in Trample, which... These auras are pretty bad. Um, Eldrazi Conscription is definitely good. The rest are not. I have considered doing a Colossification Burning Anger combo 
aura reanimator deck, which sounds interesting. Uh, the problem was they weren't like you needed to have both of them, and I don't know, it was pretty awkward. Um, yeah, I I don't know. Maybe that's a better way to go because these auras really stink. So it's something we could consider, but for now, this is what we're going with. We're just trying to make essentially a giant dude and attack. I mean, that's the entire game plan here. Um, the the one thing this deck has going for it, it looks horrible. Uh, you can see up here I've named it Stormhill Jank. So it's yeah, it's a little janky. But the one thing it has going for it is its engine-y cards tend to be they have flexibility. I have charms and commands. So Prismari Command, draw two, discard two, make a treasure, shock something, destroy an artifact, maybe the artifact's some graveyard hate, like a Nile Spell Bomb or something, something that'll like slow you down. I don't know. Grafter's Cage maybe. Um, so it's, that flexibility is nice. Is it charm? Can kill something that's, you know, maybe there's like a containment priest you need to get off the battlefield or, you know, something, a Ragavan you want to kill early. Um, also can counter something in a pinch. Counters a, target, a non creature spell unless they pay two, which can come up if the, you think they're holding a removal spell for your Storm Herald or whatever. It's pretty easy to unearth, plus have Is It Charm as a counter up in the same turn. Um, and Unmarked Grave is the other one that. Uh, doesn't look flexible, but is more flexible than it looks because one, it's good at getting you Storm Herald, so you always can reanimate it. But then it also is good at putting Eldrazi Conscription in the graveyard, so it's like either more copies of Storm Herald or more copies of Eldrazi Conscription, which is quite good. Uh, in the sideboard, we have Fluster Storms, Thought Seizes, and Duresses for removal heavy decks. They want to stop my Storm Herald, or I mean, I'd bring them in against Combo too. There's not a lot of combo going around in Modern right now, more so for removal heavy decks. Um, I've got Furies for against creature decks, maybe against like Hammer Time or something. Uh, you can bring in some Furies and even persist them back after you pitch something to them, so that's nice. And I've got Sedgemore Witch uh, for like really aggressive decks or decks that are really a killing my creatures. It's something I can bring back with Unearth and Persist, and it makes a lot of bodies. Yeah, <laughs> so we got. Um, you'll notice that I can't cast Prodigious Growth or Battle Mastery. I guess maybe with Prismari Command Treasures, I could cast a Battle Mastery. Pretty unlikely I'm casting the other two. That's okay. Um, not gonna. My mana's kind of loose anyway, so I'm not going to contort it more than I need to. Um, but yeah, this deck is going to be sweet. Let's get into some games and see how it plays out. All right. Here for round one. They ain't ready. They're, they're not ready. Never ready for this. Well, this hand looks really bad. I think I need a mulligan. I'm off of it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah, this hand also not it. I can bring back Storm Herald, but no, nope. Wow. Uh, Alright, get a mulligan again. Let's try four. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Alright, I'm gonna keep. This hand, also not good. Uh, it has all of the auras, but it functions, so there's that. It does function, which is important. Uh, I'll be able to turn two, is it charm, draw two, discard two. And get this Eldrazi Conscription in the grave. Let them know. Send a message, as it were. Alright, hopefully the Izzet Charm can find me a Storm Herald. That'd be spectacular. Taking an otherworldly gaze right now, too. So opponent has revealed Urien, so it could be playing Elementals. Um, that's going to be really bad against Solitude, which is unfortunate. Probably Elementals given a Windswept Teeth. But here we are. Alright, they're going to tap out. Yes, Ren and Six. Psh, doesn't do anything. And I could counter with Is It Charm. Nah, we're drawing two and discarding two. We out here. I will concede the game if my Is It Charm whiffs, just so that they don't bring in Gary Fjord for game two. Don't want them to know. You, really, you don't want them to know. Although, once you play Is It Charm, they kind of know, so. That's, uh, that was always going to happen. It's alright though. Mm -hmm.
you gonna let me do what I want to do here? No? Yes? No? All right, opponent letting me draw two, discarding two. All right, I'm not gonna say this is ideal, but it could be worse. Oh yeah, when your opponent draws two, discards two with a is a chart that could have countered the Ren and six and puts an Eldrazi conscription in the graveyard, you oh oh my, did we just do it? I think I think we just did it. I think we did it. Let's go. No solitude one time, Plez. Plez? Come on, deck. Deliver. Deliver. Let's go. Come on. Just don't have a solitude. No solitude? <laughs> I don't think they have it. Oh, they don't have it. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Beautiful. Um. Oh, they conceded! We won out of all the four! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, baby! That's how you do it! That's how it's done! Whew. Okay, alright. That... That felt pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I, I very much enjoyed that. Okay, so the Thought Seasons were specifically for Solitude. I actually considered the fourth Thought Seasons over the second Duress. Uh, mostly for Burn, but I figured two Duress, three, three Fluster Stone would be good against Burn. Besides more Witches, kind of for Burn 2. Eh. Burn is tough, though. They have a lot of Lightning Bolts, and Stormreal dies to Lightning Bolts. So that's a tough matchup. But here we are. Um... So what's the cut? Well, I think you can trim a persist generally. Uh, I really wish I had played the one Archon of Cruelty too. I considered briefly one Archon of Cruelty, and I wish I had. I wish I had played it over one of these Furies in retrospect, but here we are. Um, I definitely feel like I want the Prismari command. Uh, but maybe only two. Yeah, we'll go two. And I think we can go down a Stitcher Supplier. Given that we saw Urian in Ren and Six, there's a chance this is a Chalice of the Void deck. It's probably not, but there's a chance. You never know. I'm stunned they conceded. I really, I did not think they were going to concede there. So that was kind of nice. We will take it. Oh, man. If the Otherworldly Gaze could just, you know, if this was a blue source and I could find a land with it, I think I would keep, but... Uh, given it doesn't do that, I'm going to ship. Uh, <laughs> again, the mana just being perfectly awkward. Um, well, I think this hand's actually okay. I'm going to keep it. I need to find a black source, and if I don't, things are going to get hairy. Uh, I'm definitely buying the prodigious gross growth. I think that's pretty bad. Um, but I think, I think if we find a black source, this is a hand that can win. Uh, if they have like artifact graveyard hate, like a turn one soul guide lantern or something, I'm going to be sad. I just bought in my Prismari command, but abundant growth is fine. That's fine. That is totally fine. Well. Always gonna get Prismari. Gonna have the Prismari command. That was never changing. So here we are. All right, otherworldly gaze seeing like you know a couple really good things for the yard, and a black source would be spectacular. The dream is to actually see like three good spells and no black source. Oh man, my otherworldly gaze is getting way countered. This is not gonna be good. Maybe they just let it happen because they're scared of other things, and also the card's not good to begin with. Okay, so bidding all of these is actually good. I'll say that. Hopefully I draw the black source, otherwise we're in trouble. Honestly, any land would be acceptable here. Alright. Not bad. Not not the worst. We take those. Uh, I can't fetch basic swamp. 
But I don't think I'd want to anyway because of Is It Charm. The question is, is Blood Crypt or Watery Grave better? I don't know the answer to that. I'm going to go with Blood Crypt. And we are going to cast an Unmarked Grave. I wonder if they counter this one. They do not. Makes me think they might have uh, Graveyard Hate, but you never know. Or maybe like a counter spell and they're just saving the counter spell. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Are they tapping out? For for Teferi? Really? I mean they they have to have solitude in their hand, right? They are literally dead on the table if they don't have solitude. Um I mean I didn't come here not to go for it, so here we go. It's time. We're gonna start it out the uh, the cool way here by flat or by otherworldly gazing first. All right, yeah, we'll just get all these out of here. I don't want any of them. Unearth, my dude. Come back, Storm Herald. I think I'm getting solituded here or surgically extracted. That would no. no. Okay. Still think I'm getting solituded. Yeah, no, all right. Uh, I guess I'm gonna leave the prodigious growth because the other two will kill anyway. All right, it looks like I just get to attack with a, yep, solitude. No, oh, they did have it. Darn it. Well, I'm happy I left the prodigious growth. A little sad. A little sad. Man, neither the thoughtsies. Really neither the thoughtsies. Well, here we are. Kind of wish this land was a black source too, so I could have unmarked graved again, but meh. I got a lot of life. Maybe that'll work in my favor at some point in the, f in the future. <laughs> Probably not, but yeah, you never know. You never know. Maybe like, ugh, Solitude is such a problem for this deck. It's really hard to beat Solitude. Alright, Red and Six. Psh, that's a beatable card. Doesn't do nothing. I, mean, probably, I mean, it does a lot, but... Like, my average hand size so far is four and a half. And... We put a lethal attack in twice, so hard to complain. You know, it's things are going going decently well, I guess I'd say. Hmm. Well, I can only cast stuff during my turn anyway, so I want to draw two, discard two, and the question is, do I want treasure or do I want to kill the fairy time raveler? I think I want to draw two, discard two, and make the treasure. I don't think Teferi's going to matter. Maybe, like, Prismatic Ending exactly makes it matter. We did see a Prismatic Ending. They can also, like, Instant Speed, Expressive Iteration. Yeah, maybe the treasure doesn't matter. All right. Uh, two, any target, draw two, discard two. So, choose any target, Teferi, and the target player is me. We're going to draw two, discard two. Okay, okay. These are cards. Um, I still need a reanimation spell. But these are cards. I think... I mean, I'm definitely discarding Eldrazi Conscription. I think just mana-wise, it's better to discard Is It Charm here. Although that's like a counter spell. Um, hmm. I'm going to discard the Izzet Charm. I am not sure that that is correct, but it is the choice I have made. I think the Unmarked Grave is going to pay off just as a way to find a Storm Herald. 
This is a lot of search for reanimation. I think the Is It Charm is better, actually. I think I screwed that up. I am going to upkeep Otherworldly Gaze myself, though. Uh, just try to make sure I draw something good for the turn. It does feel like opponent has removal and stuff up. And I'm going to need to... Like, right now, they can just Solitude Hardcast, which is going to be kind of unbeatable for me. Uh, yeah, we're going to bin all three of these. None of them do quite what I want to do. All right. Let's get a Storm Herald in the yard here. I'm going to upkeep Otherworldly Gaze again. And hope we can make something happen here. It feels to me like at this point they've got everything they need. And uh, I'm kind of drawing dead. But, eh. Maybe not. Yeah, you got to make them have it. you got to make them have it. They could just have a bunch of lands in hand. They've had a Renin Six going. You never know. Seems kind of unlikely. They didn't even like spend their mana putting Urian in their hand. So, they probably have something. But, yeah, you know. It's alright. We'll figure, we'll figure out a way here. Man, that, that Solitude was brutal. I thought they might have it too, but it was... It was brutal. Not good. <sighs> Not good. Alright. Alright. Need reanimation spell. Now we're gonna bend all of those. What are we drawing? The not reanimation spell. Well, look, it's not going so hot, but at least we have otherworldly gazes to keep digging. We'll find it eventually. There's not that many cards left in the deck. Are this like hard cast? Oh, in endurance. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I'm, yep. Alright, so this is like the elementals, the canister list. Between endurance, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be tough. We, uh, we can find a way though. Really wish I had a fourth thought, thought sees here, but you know, such is life. Um, I think I may be supposed to just board in the Sedgemores. Just let them know. Just let them know it's time to Sedgemore. And maybe have a fair game plan here where we do some beatdowns. I am going to board out a battle master. That card's not very good. I think the alternate plan of just get a Sedgemore in play and go to town, just casting my otherworldly gazes and unmarked graves and other just generally pretty bad cards is gonna be gonna be decent. Alright, what do we have here? A hand that really doesn't do much of anything. Um, well, these are good to discard. I got, I think I have to mulligan again. This, this hand just doesn't do anything. All right, this hand, this is a hand. This hand plays. This hand plays very nice, in fact. The question is, what am I bottoming? I believe, I kind of want to bottom mountain, honestly. I think the answer is mountain. Uh, not I think. The answer is Mountain. I'm definitely bottoming Mountain. Uh, so the question is, do I want to Thought Seize on one? I don't think I do. I think I want to Otherworldly Gaze here and Unmarked Grave. To set up for a turn where I Thought Seize plus Unearth in the same turn. It's kind of my read on the scenario here. I would like the watery grave, please. Yep. Um. Question is, do I want the unmarked grave? I'm thinking that I don't. 
I don't think I want it. I think I've committed and I'm all in. I think that's where we're at. So now my hand can beat Solitude. Does not do very well against Endurance. But, you know, such is life. Storm Herald. Okay. Why don't you just jam a Teferi here and think that the solitude in your hand is gonna protect you? Let's have a let's have a replay of game two. The sad thing here though is I don't actually have lethal, so it's a little a little awkward. They can't cast endurance though, that's or hard cast it, that's good for me. Ooh, now they could. But they're tapping out. Blue angry. Ice Fang Kotal. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Alright, so I don't know what I'm really hoping to draw here. Drawing Stormhield was a good draw. I'll say that. Well, let's start with the Thoughtseize. They got a bunch of just bad stuff in their hand. Um, huh. Do I care about any of this? Eternal Witness Time Warp seems kind of bad. But... I don't really think it matters. Um, I think the thing here I need to watch out for is Expressive Iteration. I mean, they get to just Eternal Witness it back, but then next turn they're doing not that much, so... Sure, yeah, we'll get rid of the expressive iteration. Sadly, this isn't really getting me all that far, which is a little annoying, but eh. it's all right, it's all right. The next time I have a discard outlet, we will be quite good, in pretty good shape. Because they're going to six here. I don't have a red source either, which is a little annoying. Alright. And for the record, Spectral Ward would have been much better as Battle Mastery. Noted. But it would be dead here. I have a 10 power double striker. Set of plus two, plus two of pro colors. So, yeah. All right, well, now we know. I don't I don't know why these stay in play attached to it, but in exile, that's interesting. Um, as far as I know, they don't go back ever, so they, I think, yeah, they don't. All right, well, they're just exiled, but here, there's a reminder that at some point in the game, I did do something with them, I guess. Uh, hey, just so you know. <laughs> did, they, did they have Prismatic Ending in their hand? They did not, right? Okay. So Wooded Foothills is gone. And their hand is still Time Warp, Renin 6, Wooded Foothills. Alright. Well, Red Source doesn't get me anywhere here. Um, so I think Upkeep I need to Otherworldly Gaze. Okay, I'm going to bin all of these. Now all I need is a red source and opponent dies. Well, they don't die this turn, but red source is what I needed and nothing in their hand stops this currently. Um, so they could cast a time warp to cycle it. I think it's more likely they like Renin 6 plus Eternal Witness here maybe. Maybe Renin 6 plus Urian. I mean, you can cycle the time warp for sure, but it's just not that strong. Maybe you just need it. I, yeah, maybe you just are doing it to buy some time. Maybe it's just the best thing to get back with Eternal Witness, so maybe you always time warp first. 
I don't know. Interesting. Oh, they're pecking away for one. So I know their hand is Eternal Witness, Ren and Six, and then they have two cards that I do not know about. I assume this turn is going to involve... Okay, so Eternal Witness, Ren and Six, and one card I don't know about. Um... If they pick up Prismatic Ending, I'm a little scared. Because that could mean the other card is Urian. But, yeah, okay. Expressive Iteration makes sense. So, and I assume they're going to cast it. But as far as I know, the other card isn't a white sword. Or isn't a white card, necessarily. Okay, so they have two cards I don't know about in their hand. If... Oh, they left back Ice Fang Kotal, too. If you have Solitude, you're just attacking there, right? I guess maybe the one point of damage doesn't really matter. You have to just be attacking there if you have Solitude, right? I guess they could have hit Endurance as well, and Ren pitches to Endurance, which is kind of brutal. Yeah, Endurance makes a lot of sense. Well. Again, if, you, if they have the thing, they have the thing. I mean... I gave it my best shot with the Thought Seize. I'm not beating it, so. Here we go. You either have the thing or you don't have the thing. And I'm going to make you have the thing. Show me the money. Uh, I guess Black Source is better. Do you have the thing? Because I have the thing. Yes? No? Let's go! Let's go! That's how you do it! Kaladin! Kaladin! Uh, right, to explain the reference, Kaladin is the hero from Stormlight Archive, who Storm Herald looks quite a bit like, for the record. A little spear guy. You'll never convince me this isn't Kaladin. Oh, Kaladin Stormblast! Let's go! <laughs> what a dub! What a W. Alright, so we have we have tested and refined. This is what excellence looks like right here. This is this is the, the premier deck in modern now. That felt pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. That, that felt that felt pretty good. Pretty darn good. Well, I mean, this is this is just really something. Uh, these are the kind of hands you dream of. Opponent on a mulligan, just gonna be helpless to the the fury that will ensue here. All right, they got gobble. Maybe maybe not. Maybe helpless was a strong word. Uh, <laughs> All right, we drew a land. Oh, I get to discard the hand size. That's actually good. That's really nice. I can discard the Storm Arrow. <laughs> In the conscription. <laughs> Goblin Guide. I love you, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Whew. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Guide. I really, <laughs> really do appreciate it. All right, I'm just going to put that one into play. Really do appreciate it. <laughs> oh boy. Um <laughs> I don't I think I think it's conscription is still better to discard than Herald. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna discard the conscription. Maybe it was supposed to be Herald, but like I think it's fine either way. I think I, I don't know. I, I would like the goblin guy to hit again, actually. That's, oh, it did. Oh, my God. It, it hit again. 
This is, these are just the, the starts you dream of right here. This is what dreams are made of. <laughs> oh, boy. So, Eidolon? No, Skewer. Okay. Okay, okay. Opponent with a very fast start here. Very fast. Um. Hmm. Well. I do kind of want to use the unmarked grave. But it's somewhat reasonable I die next turn if I don't hold up Is It Charm. Um. I guess I can unmark grave and unearth next turn. Yeah, we'll do it like that. And this way, if they have lethal, which uh, is only going to happen if they use all of their mana, they need to, like, to deal 8 damage, they need to at least spend 3 mana, generally. Um, even 7 is going to require 3 mana. So, given that I have the Is It Charm, I feel pretty safe. Um, I think I'll be okay. We'll see. I, I will have to kill an Eidolon if they play an Eidolon, but I should be protected. Ooh, Persist. All right, opponent, opponent sees what kind of shenanigans I'm up to here. And has left up mana. Interesting. Well... All right. I don't want to draw persist. I'm gonna get a blood crypt tapped. Oh man, another is it charm? Well. Okay, so that's actually good, even though it doesn't necessarily look like it is good. Uh, I think I'm fetching a red here, or I guess I could fetch a blue. I don't know that it matters. I think I'm just going to unearth. I think they're going to point a burn spell at the Storm Herald here. Nope, they just aren't doing that. Okay. Well, it's interesting. I really thought they were going to do that. Helix? I mean, that's fine. You're not going to have any permanence. I put myself in a spot where I could die here, but they don't have permanence after this, so... All right. It's going to be a nail biter. If they draw a land, we're in trouble here. Because they definitely have a burn spell. But they might have two mana burn spells, and they can't cast those for two lands. And I've got a counter spell. And if I, like, the, the Eldrazi Contription is going away. My Storm Herald's still here. So that's, that's good. And no land for the opponent. All right, now we just get to delve them out. Yes! Let's go! We won another game! Let's go! Oh, man. I really thought, you know, I thought they were going to point the burn spell at the Storm Herald. They did not. They definitely could have. Uh, regardless, it didn't matter. We had the answer. Don't, nobody worry. We had it. We had it the whole time. We were always okay. <laughs> I think Spectral Ward is nonsense. I'm kind of off of it, if I'm being honest. Not really all about it. Uh, I think Persist kind of stinks. I think I want Sedgemore Witch, but only two. I think two is the number of Sedgemore Witch. That is the right number. And I'm going to go one Stitcher Supplier. 
There was no method to any of this madness. That's just <laughs> the things I chose. Just cutting stuff at random. Snip, snip, baby. Hmm. I don't think a sand, a sand's not it. I'll tell you, you get, you get some hands with this deck. You get some truly, truly rancid hands. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> this hand's like close. If I have an is it charm on top of my deck, it's like really good. It's kind of slow though. Let's try five. Yeah. Yeah. I think this. I think this might be the hand. Uh, sadly, I have to bottom two auras, which not ideal, but you know, is what it is. All right, opponent did keep seven, which is not really where I want to be. You know, all things considered. Uh, let's fetch red black. Does that change my play? I still probably want a black. So no, I don't think so. I don't think that really changes the play. Someone could also just like have Pat to Exile in their deck post board. That seems pretty, pretty likely. Um, which, I mean, I might be able to beat. Maybe. Could be tough. Feels like an Eidolon of the Great Rebel hand though. Yeah. Yep. 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 I say, felt like that one might be included in the hand here. Well, let's see what we draw. And is it charm? Okay, so that's not bad actually. That opens the door for me to have some good draws. I am going to have a sketchy turn here, sadly. So you're casting something ahead of time. Is it another Eidolon? Oh boy. Um, it does seem like they're tapped out. I'm going to take my medicine here. Draw two, discard two. See what happens. I mean... If they have a land plus a path to exile, I'm in really bad shape but if they don't play a land they're dead okay no land as of now maybe 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 deck opponent opponent yes they attacked. Sucker. <laughs> I got him. I don't, I don't think that mattered, but okay. Oh, no land. So, like, surgical extraction, there's no way they're playing endurance. It's like surgical extraction or bust for them here. And even if they have surgical, like, they're still in pretty bad shape, if I'm being honest. Because it puts them down to 12, and then they're taking 10. So they're at two, and they're locked out casting spells for the rest of the game. Unless they block, but even if they block... Yeah, they're in really bad shape to this. If they do somehow have an answer, though, I'm in bad shape. But, yeah, I mean, here we are. Little little turn three, you're dead action here. You take these. You take these all day. This is just good clean magic right here. Oh, they conceded! Let's go! Are we 2-0? and oh? Is this the new best deck in modern? I think it might be. I think we found it. Ugh, unbeatable. Just straight up unbeatable. Alright. How's this for a hand? Well, it has Is It Charm, so 
Into Spectral Ward. Spectral Ward is bad. This should not be in this. <laughs> it should really not be in this deck. Uh, I'm going to keep, though. This has all the things you actually want. Like an unmarked grave and is it charm on earth. Yep. Um, man, this deck would kill for, like, a gamble. Gamble would be so good for this deck. Yeah, I'd play gamble. I'd definitely play gamble. Play, uh... What's the other one? The other, the other unmarked grave. That would be way too good, though. They would never put that in here. Hard evidence. Oh, boy. Well, my Annihilator plan going to be not so good against the hard evidence deck. But it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, I'm going to leave it with a Tab Blood Crypt. Look like a... Uh, I don't know what deck in the format plays Blood Crypt and not Luris, but look like that. I guess maybe like a, a Living End deck or something. I don't, there's not very many. Very very few decks do that. Uh oh, they're upkeep something in me. Oh, don't be ice. Ice would be like really brutal here. I would not like to get iced. And they're fetching my upkeep, so I'm probably getting iced. Eh. I did get iced. Oh, that's a really brutal icing. Eh. Whatever. We'll get the other land and play tapped. Just move on. Move on with our live. The Dwarven Mine, huh? Alright, well. Opponent really ain't prepared for the Is It Charm. Um. Yeah, I think I'll fetch an island. If, uh. I guess Mountain would be fine too. Probably Island's better. I don't actually know. I might even just fetch Steam Vents. Except double blue and double red. But I'm leaving up Counterspell because I, this deck is playing Indomitable Creativity. Okay. They are really trying to Indomitable Creativity this turn, it feels like. Or Tefri. Do I care though? I kinda don't. I think I'm just gonna fetch. I don't know if Steam Vents matters. It might like they get Primeval Titan some percentage of the time, so maybe my life total matters. I, I'm not gonna have mana issues, I don't think. Maybe I do. I, I don't know. Seems unlikely I have mana issues. Although certainly possible. The, the icing me twice when they were on the play has been kind of brutal, though, if I'm being honest. Because I would have already cast an Isitarm and a Prismari command and just be way deeper in my deck. Before this Teferi, and next turn they would actually be dead. But, what are you going to do? Again, the I could counter your guy, but eh, line is, uh, <laughs> it always tells the opponent something's up. No, I don't care. You can have him. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I can attack for some amount of damage next turn. What is it? Three. I mean, they're tapped out. I don't think they have free spells, so I'm attacking for like. Twelve, so they'd be at three. Um, they don't really get me anywhere. Let me think about this. But, I guess I can Prismari Command, Prismari Command to actually kill them next turn. So probably worth, it's 12, right? It is 12, and they can't block. Yeah, alright. I'm here for it. Let's uh let's unearth this bad boy. Come on, Kaladin. Get in there, buddy. Oh the opponent said they saw my pics on Twitter and that I'm looking good. Appreciate it, Riley. I very much appreciate it. Thank you. 
I hope uh, you can appreciate me attacking with, <laughs> with Kellen and Stormblast here, doing the damages. All right. Well, that's what I got. Uh, you go. <laughs> All right, Riley, what are we doing here? Do you have it? No? Am I dead? What's happening? Because if you don't kill me, I got you. I got you. I think I'm... I don't think they can give it haste if they get a Primeval Titan. Oh, if they get an Archon, that's, like, really bad. Oh, don't be... Oh, okay. Oh, they get... Oh. Oh. All right. I didn't. I didn't have it. Yep. Okay. Well. Yep. All right. <sighs> yep. Just needed Spectral Ward to be not garbage. It's been. It would have been a lot better as the double strike thing. Basically every single time. So. Yeah. Future reference. Spectral Ward. Battle mastery. Now we know. Should probably this should be like a third battle mastery and then another prodigious growth then uh, yeah we'll be good I think that's the play. Anyway I'm bringing in all the discard I think the counter spells against the fairy deck aren't it. Um I'm gonna go down and persist. Spectre Ward has been mostly awful so cut one of those. Uh I'm gonna trim a Prismari Command although eh, Prismari Command actually can like blow up treasures and stuff maybe it's good. Nah, I'm still gonna cut one though. And another persist. I think that's the answer. I think that's the answer. Well, I thought they were gonna get Primeval Titan. The opponent was just like, nah, bruh. And then, uh, went real hard. Uh,. Yeah, I mean, this is a hand. I'm going to keep it. It does stuff and things. Could you go turn one supplier? When it's on six, you take those. The dress should be a thought seize, but it's fine. Uh, I was supposed to fetch with Delta, given I'm getting blue black, because I might want to fetch basic mountain. I probably won't want to fetch basic mountain, though, if I'm being honest. All right, that, I guess put a Battle Mastery in the yard. That's not awful. It's not great either, but not awful. All right, the Stitcher Supplier beatdowns are coming in. Let's go, baby. Beat them down. Bash. Bash. I think it's time for the Duress. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they're working with over there. All right, they have some stuff and some things. Well, I'm not all that scared of what they're doing, if I'm being honest. I'm really not. I'm going to cut the Indomitable Creativity. That card is probably really bad for me. Probably very bad for me. Alright, so what if Foothill's out? Get a steam vent tapped here. Alright. Uh so now we're storm held away from the dub. I don't think shocking them's gonna do anything, so we're probably making a treasure. At least as of now. This seems like the mode. Make treasure. Ooh, they're leaving it up. Alright. Alright. I see what's up. Definitely treasure. Uh, draw two cards, discard, treasure token. Yep, me and me. Oh, 
Well, we hit the Storm Herald. Interesting. Very interesting. Because I know I'm getting Prismari Commanded. And I can't really stop it with what's in my hand currently, but... Huh. This is interesting. I think the answer is I let the Prismari command happen. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. Um. I can attach something to Stitcher Supply. This is literally why I put Stitcher Supply in the deck. So, uh, good, good thing to remember here. The question is what I'm supposed to do. I think... I think I was supposed to otherworldly gaze in response to this trigger. I think that's... I think that's what I was supposed to do. Maybe if they respond. Okay. So I'm going to get... Well, no, this is just way wrong on their part. Well, I guess that's good for me, though. I was still supposed to respond. I'm, I'm going to respond. Give them the otherworldly gaze. Don't, just let them know I'm staring them down. Just a little little stare down on Riley over there. So, <laughs> uh, oh, I hit another Storm Herald. So that's just very lethal. Yeah, we're gonna get all of it. I don't want none of that. All right, I hit another. The Battle Master is what made it super lethal. Okay. Uh, and they didn't do treasure, so they unless they have. I mean, yeah, you're, you're dead. This is one of those things where uh, opponent not knowing how your deck works plays out very well in your favor. Should have read Storm Herald. <laughs> uh, I, okay, so even if they knew how that worked, they, they needed two spells. Like, you weren't stopping it. I had two kills there. So you need to kill both my creatures, and then I even had the unearth for next turn. So I was pretty well insulated. I was pretty well insulated. Okay, I think I want the flusters, having played that. Uh, yep. <laughs> Persist, I think, is nonsense. And Stitcher Supplier on the draw. Nah. Not it. I think I need, I just need the interaction. I just need to really slow them down. I do want this. I'm going to... Uh, the prodigious growth could matter. Maybe it's like two flusters. Maybe I only have two flusters. Yeah, that's it. You just want exactly two flusters. I think that's the answer. It's always been the answer. Because it doesn't counter to fairy, but like it could come up that it's good. You never know. Let's get get in Riley. I got all these uh, one mana spells here. Riley, I'm. I'm the control deck now. All right. This hand looks like it's going to lose. Ooh, opponent's on five, though. Um, but, yeah, this hand doesn't look great. But it's the type of hand you just kind of got to keep and just, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm here. I got this stinker, and it's, uh, you know, things might not go great for me, but so be it. I got a Fluster Storm. See, isn't it great to just have one Fluster Because if I had a second Fluster Storm in the deck over one of these Prismari commands, which was actually the other card I was thinking about cutting for a second there, uh, two fluster storms here would look pretty bad, if I'm being quite honest. I'm gonna fluster literally anything they cast, though. I just really want to slow them down. Fluster it. Oh, I can't fluster Ren in six. That's awkward. I would. I really wanted to fluster that. Ah, uh, you know. Here we are. Such is life. Uh, I want a black source, I believe. I think red black because I have a ton of blue. Yeah, red black seems fine. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm still just supposed to unmark grave. 
get an Eldrazi conscription. So Teferi here is like real bad for me. I'm really hoping this isn't Teferi. Okay, not Teferi, that's good. Right, given it wasn't Teferi, I think I can wait a turn and get a Prismari command off here. Maybe an Otherworldly Gaze as well. Um, I mean, obviously I could like go for it, like just jam, but I'm going to have it protected next turn. So it seems like that's a much better route. I'm just going to cast the Prismari command. I'm going to go and make a treasure. Uh, just because it lets me otherworldly gaze here. Ooh, now that I have an earth, though. Um. Now that's interesting. Because if they kill it, I can just unearth it, but then there's some awkward stuff happening still. Alright, I'm going to pitch these two. I really, I should have fetched a Shockley in there. This was like really, really poor. Not having a second blue is pretty bad. Um, I think it's okay though. I guess I have the treasure. Yeah, the treasure is going to kind of fix things. Uh, do I otherworldly gaze now? I guess it sets up my draw step right. But does it, it doesn't really change when I do it. I can just upkeep it. Yeah. And that makes my fluster storm better anyway. Okay. Well, this should do the thing. So now they need two removal spells. Ooh, and I'm drawing Storm Herald too. I don't know if that matters though. Uh, I think I'd rather draw Is It Charm and just put a Storm Herald in the yard. All right. Let's do the thing. Storm Herald. Come on, baby. Alright, if you could not have two kill spells, that'd be really nice. Can we not have two, please? Because counter spell's not stopping this at all. Let's go! Let's go, baby. All right, I'm calling shenanigans. My opponent's name is on the play and won the die roll. What is that? What is that? Come on, rigged. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to keep. This hand's actually quite good. I still think this is rigged. What is that? Just look on the play. Don't worry about it. Aether Vial? Oh, this is... I assume I'm playing as humans. Uh, you know, they don't. I didn't get a Cavern of Souls naming humans, but it seems like a human start. It could also be DNT, I guess. But Dexter, I guess humans is way better than DNT because DNT probably is solitude. Which we don't. We don't want to see solitude. No solitude plays. No solitude plays. I mean, that's a really good draw. Uh. Do I, do I need black, red, does blue hurt? Blue's probably worse, right? I guess I could go black, blue into red. I can't get black swamp by itself because of charm. All right, I'm gonna lead on Bloodstained Mire and I think I'm gonna start with black, red. Just uh, hit him with the Stitcher Supplier. 
All right, we milled nothing, nothing relevant there. So a little awkward, but eh, whatever. We're still in good shape. Still doing the thing, as it were. Okay, so it does look like humans, which, unless they have very specific things, is gonna have a tough time with my hand. A kite sail would be bad for me here. Um, they're not like they don't interact at active or instant speed, so it's like I'm scared of kite sail and exactly them already having. Uh, I'm scared of them already having Reflector Mage in play, which would be weird, and then Phantasmal imaging it at instant speed, given that I go off on turn three, which is not a given, but my hand is, like, very capable of that. Meddling Mage? I hope they know... If they named Storm Herald, that would be incredible. That would be among the best Meddling Mage's names of all time. Do you name Is It Charm? Is It Charm would actually be a really good name. It's the only spell like they know to. It is Is It Charm. No, D come on. Ah, brutal. <gasps> Stitcher Supplier, you failed me again. Why? Oh man. Well, <laughs> that is not what I was looking for. Okay, well. Brutal. I thought my hand was really good, and now all of a sudden I'm uh, st struggling, as it were. Okay, you got a Cavern of Souls, no big deal. I can beat that. Oh, man, the Izzet Charm is so brutal. How are you going to name Izzet Charm like that? Little Mantisy Boy, alright, that's fine, that's fine. Do we have the Thalia's Lieutenant as well? Are we delivering big time beats or no? Alright. Feels like there might be big time beats coming, but I'm here for it. This is the life I've chose. Oh, they did have the Thalia's Lieutenant. I knew it. I knew it. I could feel it in my bones. Alright, well, I think it was good to soak up that damage. Okay, so now we just need to land. Land would be a very good draw. Let's see what Otherworldly Gaze gives us here. A land. We take those. So I'm going to put them to two, which is awkward. Um, yep. I might still die, which is even more awkward, but I think I gotta shoot my shot. Bring him back. I guess they could block. Is like not ideal for me. Again, Spectral War just miles worse than Battle Mastery would be at like all times. Okay. Lieutenant going away, that's not horrible, I guess. In a random land. Okay. I assume we're not blocking. Yeah, really. Really sad. 
that uh yep okay well Spectre Orange is not being battle master he's just been atrocious alright uh there's like a deus one too that might even be better calamity of the deus or something I didn't do it because it didn't work I, I don't I don't know <laughs> Well, the good news is my Storm Herald will probably die. Okay, that's generally pretty bad for me. Um, I think my Unearth is going away, which was uh, the card I wanted the most there. But if I draw Prismari Command, we can burn them out. I got three of them. They took Unmarked Grave? Why? Okay. I mean, I accept. Over on Earth? I guess I don't have anything in the graveyard, but like... Reflector Mage here? Yeah, alright. I mean, that, that's bad, but eh, not the end of the world. Although, uh, now I'm just dead in the air, right? Okay, this is really bad. Uh, is there something I can draw for one mana that changes anything I do? I don't think there is, so I don't think I need the upkeep stop. I think I'm just trying to draw Prismari Command. I got 39 cards in my deck, so I'm like, 1 in 13? I like those odds. <laughs> no way! Just... otherworldly gaze too oh my goodness it's so good oh, just two damage yep uh. <laughs> uh. yep Look, you gotta play to your outs. You just sometimes you just have to play to your outs. This, I yeah, you just gotta. Play. <laughs> what even is this? What the heck? Oh my goodness. Okay, well we take those. Uh, we do take those. <laughs> I'd be so mad if I was the opponent. And it's just, just totally justified. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> are you just gonna rip that? <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. <sighs> it's, it's so ridiculous. It's so lucky, but it's just like, yes. Oh my goodness, that feels so good. <laughs> Uh, no, pr uh, I think we're supposed to cut Stitcher's suppliers, maybe. No, I'll bring, I'll bring one back on the draw. I can't get over it. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> what a draw that was, man. I even did it. 1 in 13. I had 39 cards in my library, 3 copies. <laughs> oh... Should have blocked with your Manus Rider, buddy. Should have blocked with the Manus Rider. Would have cut off all the outs. 
if I'm being honest, though, I, I you know I kill them by drawing it anyway, even if they had, because draw two, discard two, make a treasure, and I get to unearth the storm rail they put into my hand, bring back the trampler. GG's. Whew. That was something. That was in fact something. I mean, this hand's really good. Uh, just based on, like, if I draw any lands, like, it's really good. I think I'm going to keep. Like, I can just chump with Supplier a few times, and I'm going to mill, like, a hundred things. And if I draw any land, I'm in just, like, amazing shape. Ooh, monkey. Stitcher Supplier, you never look so good, my friend. Never looks so good in your life. Ooh, I was going to fetch Water Regraves, so that's a fantastic draw. Oh my goodness. I, <laughs> I even drew the Conscription and the Mastery. I mean, it just it just doesn't get better. Stitcher Supplier, the deck's answer to Raghavan, it's so good. It's, it's so good. Oh my goodness. Opponent shouldn't have been monkeying around over there. They should have known. They should have known better. You don't monkey in humans. Don't do it. No. Nope. Thalia. Psh. I cast my Storm Herald. Yup. Well, I mean, this is literally it. This is. This is getting whitelisted right here. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Keep a one lander. Well, if I draw lands. Immediately draws mono lands. Delia's lieutenant. That doesn't pump Ragavan, my dude. Not pumping the monkey. Mm, I'm definitely supposed to block. Given any aura, like, way kills them. Oh, we hit an aura. Perfect. Alright, so as long as I don't have a free spell, that's all that was written. Uh, I guess I'm getting Swamp, so Steam Vents is slightly better. Swamp. Storm Herald, GG's. I'm definitely not supposed to bring back all of them, but I'm, I'm here to do the thing. We came to do the thing. I have a 2020 or 2019 double strike trampler with Annihilator 2 coming at you. Do you have responses? Yes, responses? No? No no responses? What, what's going on? Do you have a play? Can you take game actions? They're sacrificing things. Okay. It seems like they have something. No? Alright, we're blocking. Yeah, I'm... Yep, negative 19. Alright. <laughs> oh, that just... Woo! Alright, we are 4-0 going into round 5. I've played in some big games of Magic in my career, but I can't remember one I wanted to win as much as this. This is... This is intense. <laughs> this feels way too real. I haven't even won the die roll that much, but it's fine. I won, <laughs> won round one on a mold of four. Botanical Sanctum. I don't know what plays Botanical Sanctum in modern right now, but I have to imagine that's good for me. Black mana. Dees. I'll take black mana. I want the watery grave. Got a lot of blue in my hand here. All right, those weren't good mills, but you know, it's all right. It's all right. We've got board presence. What do they got? What is this? Oh, it is a uh, living end. Uh <laughs> So they probably have main Dirk Endurance, which is horrible for me. Uh, 
But I can at least fill my graveyard with a bunch of stuff, so there's that. None of it really comes back with Living End, which is a little awkward. <laughs> I guess I can counter the thing. That's, like, not awful. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it my counter spell. Be fine. We're all gonna be fine. The sad part here is when the counter spell happened. Ooh, Wake Grove Waves. Yikes. When I do Is It Charm, I'm like not getting anywhere, so. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're bringing back many things. Not good for me. Not good for me at all. Main phase fetch, cast shardless agent. I will counter. No, okay. All right. All right. See what's up. Look, I can I can play this waiting game, friend. I can play it. I'm here to play the waiting game. I'll do my one one beats in the meantime. I'm thinking this means they have like a force negation or something along those lines that are like truly awful for me, but. Eh. Feels like a force negation if ever I've seen one. Alright, well. I'm gonna counter unless you pay three or pay two. They did have force of negation. Shame. Alright, can I do anything to stay alive? They weren't expecting the otherworldly gaze, now were they? No. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack that in. I'm gonna pack that in. I have been bested. I am not ashamed to admit when I was bested. And this time, I was bested. But, in the future, I have many good cards to board in. And, I think I'll get there. So, the fluster storms seem great, and these seem good. Spectre Ward, again, pretty bad. Uh, I don't think I really want the Persists. Unmarked Grave, actually maybe good. Prismari Command seems like pretty slow. Uh, I think I want one Prismari Command though. Question is Stitcher Supplier, the Worldly Gaze. Maybe an unmarked grave. I'm gonna kind of unmarked grave, I guess. It's an important card, but I think we can go down to three. We just have so much disruption that I want the looting effects in case we get overloaded with disruption. Just need to have some deck velocity. Oh man, I'm already getting a nervous feeling that the whole league is gonna end on a endurance here. I can feel it. The trophy dreams will be crushed by endurance. Um. Well, this hand's not good, but I'm keeping. I didn't come here not to keep this. It's what we do. Keep horrible hands like this. Uh, yeah. I'm going to play Stitcher Supplier. Let's start getting in. Bring the beats. All right. We have milled cards I probably wanted. Like, I definitely wanted a Thoughtseize. The good news is I have a Stitcher Supplier in the yard, so. <laughs> if they do Living End, I at least have a 1-1. One -one. That's good. It's always good. All right, is it charms a draw? That's a that's a draw. It's gonna play the mountain here, I think. Get in for one, in for a penny, in for a pound, as they say. And you might be thinking to yourself, Zach, who says that? I do. I say it. Mm, I was definitely supposed to play steam vents there too, also. Trying to save life, but that really doesn't matter. And now I've made my sequencing of lands awkward because um, I will be out of black mana if I otherworldly gaze on my upkeep for next turn. And this way I could have and still held up Is It Charm or you know, whatever I chose to do. So uh, poorly used mana there, but you know, such is life. Let's draw two discard to get these stinkers out of the hand. Well. Just very punished for how we've played that.
Hmm. Now I'm feeling like I'm less punished. I gotta have some way to interact here though, right? I'm gonna start with an otherworldly gaze. I don't know what I'm repping. <laughs> I mean... I didn't come here not to do it, alright? I'm gonna get beat by something here. They have something. They have it. You know they do. But I didn't come here not to do it, so here we go. Let's go. Unearth. Let it happen. I know you have 80 cards in hand and can easily stop this, but let it happen. Plez. Plez. Just on the sweetness factor alone. Come on. They're like sitting over here thinking like I have 10 ways to stop it. What's the best way? But come on. Plez. Cycle. Cycle's good for me. It means I'm not immediately destroyed. Cycle again. Cycle again is also good for me. Oh, it's in play. Oh my. Oh, this is, this is happening. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just, uh, casually gonna attack. Make you sacrifice all your permanents and, uh, deal 27 damage. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. All right. They didn't have it. Let's go, baby. They didn't have it. All right. Huh. All right. So on the draw, on the draw. This is very important. So I'm just going to really think it through. Don't want to change anything. I think there's an argument for one Sedgemore Witch. And hear me out. If I, like, mill it with the Stitcher Supply or the Otherworldly Gaze... Oh, no, because I don't even have to persist. Oh, no, I can unearth it, though. But they'll bring it back. And then I can cast some stuff and, like, maybe have some blockers. It also really works with Flusterstorm, which is kind of hot. Because Flusterstorm is important in the matchup. Yeah. Alright. I'm into the Sedgemore Witch plan. I don't have a reason for this. I'm just in. I just have committed. We're witching. We're witching it up. Uh, the question is, what's the cut? I think it's the duresses. I think the duresses actually stink because I can't take Shardless Agent. That's uh, probably loose, but eh, I mean... Yeah. I think the witch is the answer. It's the, the thing that buys time that I need. I think the witch is the answer. I can play a fair game plan when they board in all those endurances that they got. Alright. This isn't the hand. This isn't the one. This might be. This hand's quite good. Yeah, I'm keeping and getting the... Okay. No, this hand's not amazing, necessarily, but it is quite good. Alright, kind of wish I'd kept the conscription, but... What are you going to do? Let's supply. Okay, that's a Storm Herald in the yard. That is, in fact, a Storm Herald in the yard, and I have an Unearth in my hand. I can bring some big-time beats. We can bring some big-time beats here. The biggest of the beats. Yup. Yep, yep. Ooh, did they keep a one-lander? Oh, they whiffed. They whiffed. You'll love to see it. you absolutely love to see it. <sighs> okay. All right, so here's the thing. I feel like they probably have hate or something. They, they have to have something, right? But 
I'm setting up. I'm setting up for the thing. If I is it charm here on their turn, discard the conscription. Untap Thoughtseize plus on Earth. That's a GG. That's what that is. That is a very strong GG. Uh, I definitely want black red as well. Are they going to counter it? Got Fluster Storm on my charm. That would actually be kind of a beating. They did not. All right. Take those. Uh, I think the Swamp here. Uh, yeah. Um, let's start with the Thoughtsies. Do you have endurance? I'm thinking you might. But then I don't blow my unearth. Fairy macabre. Okay. That's bad for me, but not the end of the world. And force of negation. Wow. Okay. Okay. I see what's going on here. I'm going to keep bringing my beats. So Fairy Macabre is definitely better for me than uh, Endurance would have been. That's for sure. The otherworldly gaze. Look upon me. Look upon me. All right, I'm going to bin one inscription and one of the fluster storms. But I'm keeping the other one. So I think drawing fluster storms is actually good here. I don't know how opponent gets back in this game, but it probably has something to do with casting a living in. And this at least stops the first one pretty clearly. Like the first one is stopped. And somewhere down the line, I'm going to draw a Sedgemore Witch. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is. Um. Do I need anything else? No, they're just dead to Storm Herald, right? On their thing? I guess I can just cast it. I'm gonna bin that. Uh, I think that's the right order. I think. Can't force a negation Storm Herald. You can't force a negation the Storm Herald, baby. Not today. No, they had the macabre. Alright, that's a little annoying. It's okay though. It's okay though. They've had many macabres. But we now have an actual clock. I have a 1-1 one, one and a 3-2. And I have a fluster storm to stop their first thing. So that's good. They probably have a lot, but I do have those things. Oh, and an is it charm, so I can kind of stop the things. Got a decent little clock going here. I guess maybe I was supposed to is it charm first, like just go a little slower. Seems reasonable. The question here is do I cycle the unearth? I think the answer is that I don't. Uh, 
Yeah, they're gonna upkeep do it. I'm gonna counter with Izzet Charm. No, I counter with Fluster Storm. Hmm. It's interesting because my guy comes back, but yeah, I just I don't kill them. Yeah, all right. No, wait, I want to do it this way. Another Storm Herald. Okay. So now if they have Shardless Agent, I can literally just play Storm Herald. And hopefully that's good enough. No, because they, they still got a 1. But... It's like close. Oh my. Oh no, they're going to do it on my turn again. Yeah, so if they have Force Negation here, now I'm just in trouble. Yuck. Okay. Um, maybe they just don't have it, though. That'd be cool. So, opponent does go to one. Interesting. I mean, I am, like, way dead if they have this... If they have it plus force negation here, which is pretty annoying... But, I don't know. There's not much I can do to stop it. Pulse of Marasa? That's fine. So are we casting it? Okay. Very interesting. Well, I mean, it's time. Um, So how do I lose? Like what's the thing that goes really bad for me? Um Wish I had disruption of some sort. I don't, but here we are. I'm going to play the witch. And then unearth my storm herald. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! That is a trophy. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. That was some sweet, sweet goodness right there. Whoo! Oh my goodness. That was. That was truly something. I don't know what that was, but it was something. All right. Let's do a... Let's... <laughs> oh, I have to screenshot this. This is something. All right. All right. So let's do a post-mortem here. Wrap it up. Uh, how do we feel about the deck? Great. I can't complain. I definitely want another Thoughtseize. The Duresses, not as good. Uh, I want an Archon of Sun's Grace, and oh my goodness, was Spectral Ward worse than another Prodigious Growth? 
and a battle mastery. Um, but otherwise, I think the deck was really good. Um, yeah, I like this arc. I like having one archon quite a bit. And the sideboard is just something I can unmark grave plus, plus persist. Although Sedgemore was kind of doing a good job with that. But I think having one is totally reasonable. Um, although I also could see, honestly, cutting... Stitcher Supplier was, like, pretty good. In fact, I, I liked hands that had Stitcher Supplier a lot. So I wouldn't hate, like, doing this, honestly. Just playing one more Stitcher Supplier. I think that might be the play. I think that might be the play. Um, so yeah, if I was going to play going forward, I'd probably play this. Maybe a different discard spell. I don't know. Inquisition? Something that takes, something that takes care of Endurance and Solitude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like a Void, a void Mirror might actually be kind of good now that I think about it. I could see like two Void Mirrors in the sideboard. Reasonable. Maybe something to consider. But regardless, this was a meme and we trophied and I am really happy about it. Uh... Thank you, everybody, for watching that whole thing. I think uh, I think it was maybe worth your time. I don't know. You'd, you'd be the judge. But let me know if you have any other decks like this you'd like to see in the future. I'm happy to brew. Uh, you can leave comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel. That's not really going to help me pick decks to do in the future. But if you want to subscribe to the channel, I will appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, please do. But, uh, yeah. Future requests. Now keep in mind, the studio is live. So there's going to be paper magic coming to you on this channel as well. We're going to have Commander. We're going to have Modern. I'm going to be testing for the Invitational. I might even slip in some Standard. Probably not. But yeah, maybe. Maybe it happens. Um, Kyle Bogamus has talked me into playing some Legacy tomorrow. So I'm recording Legacy tomorrow for everybody. And uh, yeah, so get in the comments. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, and I'd really appreciate it if you would. And with that... Talk to you guys next time. I'm joined by Kyle Bogomis. Welcome, Kyle. How are you? Raja Suleiman with Orzov. Max McVitie. Wow. Congratulations, Ryan right Mars. Mars. Zach Allen. <laughs> I wouldn't be here without these guys, though. So. And the champion of Proto Concerts Arcade, Ari Lax.